So we're going to go fast forward now for a minute. And um, uh, in my mid-20s, I connected with a partner who was Cecil B. DeMille, Cecil B. Beaton's assistant on uh, a musical called Coco with uh, Catherine Hepburn. And um, we formed a production company. And uh, it was a big deal. We got to do produce uh, trade shows and fashion shows. And we even did some commercial work. And it all happened very, very quickly. And, and I was self-medicating. I'd been using recreation drugs and alcohol. But I, was, I had it under control. It was under control. But the more the business moved forward and the, and the faster the pace was going, the more difficult time I was having dealing with it. So uh, in the middle of all of this, I, I had an assignment to go to the Bahamas to do a, a, a modeling thing. And uh, uh, the money was very good, and I decided to do it. And uh, I had a complete meltdown while I was there. And I ended up spending um, uh, three months in a place called Payne Whitney Clinic. Now, at that time, Payne Whitney was a fancy watering hole where they they uh, fed you with maids, served you dinner, and they fed everybody Thorazine cocktails. So they kept everybody kind of sedated. So uh, they didn't know very much about uh, the kind of issues that I'm talking about here today. They, they, they just didn't. Uh, so uh, I got out of that hospital, and um, it was probably the lowest point in my life. My partner had left. Um, the business had fallen apart. And fortunately, a friend directed me to uh, a doctor, Dr. Dick Johnson, <clears throat> who happens to be here today. And he's sitting right over there. And, and Dick, um, <laughs> he really helped me save my life. Uh, so if anybody here is unhappy with me today, you can blame it on that guy <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> 